Would you have ever thought that behind our 33 vertebrae, there could be a huge spiritual meaning hidden? Did you know that the enigma of the 33 vertebrae has been kept hidden by the church and Freemasonry for centuries? What if we revealed that your spine has a much more important role than just providing support for your body, which represents a ladder to wisdom, a gateway to the divine, a connection between the earth and the sky. In this Zen narrative, full of wisdom and mystery, we will take you on a journey through time and space to discover a secret capable of transforming your life. We'll tell you about an elderly Buddhist monk, pilgrims looking for answers and an enigma that has been hidden for too long. We will discover together why the church and Freemasonry have tried to keep this knowledge hidden and how, by revealing this secret, we can awaken our spiritual potential and transform our lives. And if you stay until the end of the video, we will reveal an ancient ritual that will allow you to connect with your inner energy and experience a true spiritual rebirth. But before continuing, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel and activate notifications to stay updated when we publish new content for your spiritual growth. On the slopes of Mount Koya, shrouded in morning fog, stood the ancient Buddhist monastery of Kangobuji. Among its austere corridors and Zen gardens resided the venerable monk Roji, known for his wisdom and profound knowledge of spiritual traditions. His wrinkles were maps of ancient wisdom and his eyes shone with a light that seemed to come from another world. One day, a group of pilgrims from all over the world gathered in the main hall of the monastery eager to listen to Roji's teachings. The elderly monk, his eyes shining with compassion, began to speak. Dear pilgrims, welcome to this sacred place. Today, I will reveal to you an enigma that has been hidden for centuries by the church and Freemasonry. An enigma that concerns the 33 vertebrae of our spinal column and their profound spiritual meaning. A murmur of amazement and curiosity spread among those present. Roji continued, you must know that the 33 vertebrae are not just anatomical elements as the church and Freemasonry wanted you to believe. They represent a spiritual path, a ladder towards enlightenment. Each vertebra corresponds to a level of consciousness, a step towards personal growth and inner peace. The monk explained that the spinal column is like an antenna that receives and transmits life energy connecting us to heaven and earth. The 33 vertebrae are like as many doors which, if open, allow the kundalini energy, the sleeping fire serpent at the base of the column, to move up the column, awakening the chakras and leading us to higher states of consciousness. Master Roji, why have the church and Freemasonry hidden this secret? asked a pilgrim with a voice full of wonder. The church and Freemasonry have tried to keep this secret hidden, Roji said, because once we understand the power of our vertebrae, we realize we don't need intermediaries to achieve spirituality. We can directly access the divine source within us and in this way embark on a fascinating spiritual journey capable of elevating our being. Roji, while the pilgrims listened with extreme attention, continued his lecture on this fascinating enigma. The first thing you need to know, he said, is how the 33 vertebrae are connected to the 33 degrees of Freemasonry, each representing a level of initiation and esoteric knowledge. Likewise, in the Christian tradition, Jesus Christ was crucified at the age of 33, a number that symbolizes spiritual completeness and fulfillment. Dear pilgrims, it is no coincidence that the number 33 occurs in many spiritual traditions, Roji stated, it is a sacred number that reminds us of our connection to the divine and our potential for spiritual growth. Think of the number of times God's name appears in the Torah, of the 33 years of King David's reign, or of the 33 Arkanti of the Sufi tradition. The number 33 is a call to ascension, to transcendence, to the full realization of our divine potential. At this point in the lesson, the monk invited the pilgrims to reflect on the meaning of their vertebrae, 
to perceive the energy flowing along the spine and to practice meditation and yoga exercises to awaken the Kundalini. When the Kundalini energy awakens, Rodi explained, we experience a true inner rebirth. Our mind calms, emotions balance, and our heart opens to compassion and unconditional love. Imagine a snake unwinding, rising through your vertebrae, awakening each chakra, bringing you to higher awareness. The pilgrims listened enthralled to Roji's words, feeling a spark of hope and motivation light up within them. Among them was Anya, a young Russian woman searching for answers after losing her husband in the war. His eyes were filled with pain, but also with the thirst for knowledge that Roji had awakened. Master Roji, Anya asked with a trembling voice, how can I find inner peace after losing the love of my life? Roji looked at her kindly and replied, Dear Anya, pain is part of life, but it should not dominate us. Your spine is like a tree of life, rooted in the earth but reaching towards the sky. Sink your roots in the memory of your loved one, but let your branches open in the light of hope and rebirth. Your spine is your support, your strength. Let me guide you to healing. Anya nodded, grateful for the comforting words. Another pilgrim, an elderly scientist named Thomas, raised his hand. Master, I have always believed in science and rationality. How can I reconcile my worldview with these spiritual teachings? Roji smiled. Dear Thomas, science and spirituality are not in conflict, but complementary. Science helps us understand the external world while spirituality guides us towards knowing ourselves. Your spine is a bridge between body and mind, between matter and spirit. Explore this bridge and you will discover that the truth is greater than you can imagine. Science can explain how the body works, but it is spirituality that reveals its true divine potential to us. Thomas remained thoughtful, fascinated by Roji's words, and the monk continued his speech with an invitation. Dear friends, don't let the church or Freemasonry tell you what to believe. Explore your spiritual path. Discover the power of your 33 vertebrae and unleash your divine potential. Spiritual rebirth is within your reach. You just need the courage to seek it. Remember, each vertebra is a portal, a gateway to greater awareness. Through meditation, yoga and contemplation, you can open these doors and awaken your kundalini energy. The pilgrims left Kongo Bujim Monastery with hearts full of gratitude and inspiration. They have been given a precious gift, the key to unlocking their spiritual potential and living a fuller, more meaningful life. In the following days, they dedicated themselves to the practice of meditation and yoga, following Roji's teachings. And gradually, they began to feel a change within themselves. The mind became calmer, the emotions more balanced and the heart more open. Anya, the young widow, found solace in meditation, visualizing her beloved husband as a light to guide her on her path. Thomas, the scientist, began experimenting with meditation and found that it could improve this concentration and creativity. One day, while Anya and Thomas meditated together in the Zen garden, Anya had a vision she saw a staircase of light rising towards the sky, made up of 33 steps. On each step, there was a different symbol, representing a virtue or spiritual quality. Anya understood that that ladder was her spine and that each vertebra was a step towards enlightenment. Sharing her vision with Thomas, Anya said, I realize that the pain of losing my husband is not an obstacle but a stepping stone to spiritual growth. I must transform my pain into compassion and help others find inner peace. Thomas, in turn, had an intuition. Science and spirituality are not separate, but two sides of the same coin. The spine is the meeting point between the physical and spiritual worlds, and meditation is the tool that allows us to explore this connection. Anya and Thomas continued to practice meditation and yoga, sharing their experiences and supporting each other on their spiritual journey. And over time, they both achieved a level of inner peace and fulfillment they never imagined possible. The venerable monk Roji continues to spread his teachings, 
sharing the wisdom of the 33 vertebrae with anyone who will listen. Its mission is to awaken humanity to its spiritual potential, helping people overcome the challenges of modern life and find inner peace. In another meeting held at the monastery, Roji delved into the concept of the cosmic spine, an idea that has fascinated mystics and philosophers for centuries. According to this theory, our spine is not only an element of our physical body, but is also a reflection of the spine of the universe, a channel through which divine energy flows and manifests itself. Roji explained that each vertebra in our spine corresponds to a star or constellation in the sky, and that the energy flowing through them is the same energy that animates the entire universe. When we awaken Kundalini, we not only open the doors to our spiritual realization, but we also connect to the vast web of cosmic energy that surrounds us. And this connection with the cosmos allows us to access wisdom and knowledge that goes beyond human understanding. It allows us to see our lives from a broader perspective, to understand our role in the universe and to align ourselves with the divine flow of creation. Roji emphasized that the cosmic spine is not just an abstract concept, but a tangible reality that we can experience through meditation and contemplation. When we focus on our spine, we can sense the energy flowing through it, connecting us to heaven and earth, to the past and future, to the infinite and the eternal. The cosmic spine is the key to understanding the mystery of life. It is the bridge that connects us to the divine, the ladder that leads us to enlightenment, stated the monk. When we awaken Kundalini, we not only transform ourselves, but also contribute to the evolution of the entire universe. The story of Roji and his teaching on the enigma of the 23 vertebrae is an invitation to all of us to embark on our spiritual journey. An invitation to discover the power of our inner energy and contribute to the creation of a better world. There are still many unanswered questions, many secrets to be revealed. But one thing is certain. The spine is much more than a simple anatomical element. It is the emblem of our divine potential, a link to spiritual fulfillment, and a channel to connect with the universe. The enigma of the 33 vertebrae invites us to look within ourselves, to explore the depths of our soul and to discover the truth that lies in our heart. It is a path that has the potential to transform not only our lives, but the entire world. A journey that every individual should undertake to discover their true essence and achieve inner peace.